Good evening and welcome back to the Westby Fieldhouse. We've got a big Cooley Conference girls basketball game for you tonight. Once again, Westby looking to grab a share of the conference lead here against West Salem. Yeah, West, end, yeah, go ahead, Dave. I say West Salem coming in here 19 and 2 overall, 9 and 0 in the conference. Westby 17 and 3 overall, 8 and 1 in the conference. Obviously, that loss coming to West Salem earlier in the year by a score of 49 34. Yeah, we expect, expect a good basketball game tonight. Uh, I, I don't know what West Salem scores at the time. You know, Westby held West Salem to their lowest scoring output of the year you know, at that 49 points. And, and uh, Westby looks to do the same here and make a few more shots, make this ball game tonight, huh, Dave? Yeah, they're going to have to really play, really have the top of their game going tonight. This West Salem squad, they're young, Dan. You know, we talked about that. They have a sophomore, they have a junior, one senior, and the rest are sophomores and freshmen. And they play well. They play well together. And they're going to rebound hard. So Westby's, I think, a key for them is they're going to have to put a body on on some kids here when that ball goes off the rim. Right. Well, starting for West Salem, looks like we have... Uh, Megan Johnson, Sam Niemeyer is number 40. Megan Johnson, 42. Number 14, Anna McConkey. And I didn't catch the other couple starters. Did you, Dave? I got Reese uh, Sackett. Reese Sackett, number 10. Yep. And uh, we'll guess we'll have to take a look at that when they, when they come out. West Salem led in scoring by Megan Johnson, 14 a game. Anna McConkey, 13 a game. Sam Niemeyer, 12 a game. And Megan Johnson also leads the team in rebounds and assists. She was something special as a freshman. And um, she's obviously special as a sophomore, too. And uh, well, one of the usual starting lineups for Westby, a Jada Berg, number five. Aubrey Joth at number 11, Denali Hebron, number 14. Number 33 is Hannah Nelson, and number 42 is Kennedy Brigham, all seniors for Westby. Yeah, Berg leading the team with 11 per game. Jolton chips in eight. Brigham puts in 10 a game, plus Brigham leads, rebounds, and assists. Quite a contrast. You basically have seniors against, well, it's kind of been that way throughout the year. It seems like all these teams are young. Uh, both these squads, you, know, you take a look at their records day in the conference. Um, both of them kind of um, uh, get the help of, you know, the Cooley Conference just not being strong. Right. You're looking at these two teams and Luther, and that's what you have. Yep, and uh, and then Westby gets no no break after this. They do have to play on Alaska Luther on Thursday. And that uh, was a, a, a well-contested ball game the first time around. So Westby needs to take care of business tonight here and take care of business this week. Big week for Westby basketball. Westby wins the tip. You can go ahead and take over play-by-play play if you like, Dave. It's up to you. Well, let's talk our way through it tonight, Dan. What yeah, sounds good. Nelson in a little bit of trouble, and there's your first turnover of the game. 12 in um, Brindley Kelly. She is, she'll, she'll kind of run this offense, and that first game, she was in foul trouble early. Yeah. Um, didn't see a lot of time when she got in. So I think she was fouled out about the 10-minute mark of the second half, a block down there, McConkey quickly transitioning the defense. Yeah, it's one thing this West Salem team on both ends. They'll get back on defense well, and they, they're looking to push. That's knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with Westby. Reese Sackett, a junior. Yes. Of course, the senior is McConkey. Yep. Well, I thought in the last inbounds play, they got the ball into, into Nelson. I thought Nelson had a shot there. She turned it down, and they got a good shot from uh, Denali Hebner. But I think Hannah Nelson, she, she, she needs to be maybe a little bit more aggressive on the offensive end in a game like this. We'll get a jump ball. There's right away as Niemeyer ties up Hebner, and that one will go to West Salem. Still scoreless here. Not quite a minute gone by in the first half. I, I don't know, my, my thoughts on this, Dave, is, is the lower the scoring this game is, the better it is for Westby. It sure is. It sure is. The only common team they've played is Prairie du Chien, with Westby falling to them 57-22, plus Salem falling to, or, uh, falling to Prairie 66-60. to Good strong move there by Johnson gets West Salem on the board, 2-0. West Salem will pressure. Oh, nice job. Oh, Berg wasn't ready for that pass. That was a great look from Hannah Nelson. 
It really was. She went up. I in thought the air that was a great ride. I didn't think they. Jada just not expecting it. Yeah, and, and she probably could have went up with that shot, but boy, I tell you what, I mean, that was a, a, just a nice touch pass there, and if Bird catches that. That's just an easy left-handed layup for her. Yeah, the McConkey name. They, uh, she got some brothers that are athletes. We saw one of them last week uh, as West Salem boys came here to play Westby. Nelson for three, rolls around, and oh, I thought it was going to go in, but it tipped out. McConkey gets the rebound, and here comes that push from West Salem. And that, uh, that was a little too easy there as Johnson got into the lane, kind of a secondary transition basket. And now we're going to get the foul there. And that call right there, that's going to be important. You know, that was, I think there's definitely some contact there, but if the officials are going to let that go on, it's going to be a, could be a long night for Westby. And there you have your first foul off against Kelly. Near steal, and Westby caught a break there as that went off Kelly's foot. Westby boys, they're at Viroqua tonight, which is going to be a good one. Um, they played a really good game here just about a week ago. Berg likes that spot and gives Westby their first field goal of the ball game. It's now four to three. So it's Megan Johnson four and Jada Berg three here so far as Kelly throws a three. That's in and out. Brigham with the rebound. That's one thing. West Salem, they'll, they'll, they're going to look to press and trap out of a miss just as well as a make, and that's not something a lot of teams at this level do. Nice pass to Berg and can't get the shot to go. Good job by Jada to follow, and she gets the bucket and the foul. Came right back to her. A good look from Kennedy Brigham, and Burke kind of rushed that first shot. I don't think she really had a handle on it, Dave, but she, she knew she missed it and was able to follow and get that rebound. Well, she doesn't the take, one opportunity. She doesn't take a lot of eight-foot shots. She's either out in the arc or down on the block, right? so it's kind of in that middle area that the rebound counter to miss came right back at her. Free throw is good. Westby with a first lead of the ball game at 6-4. to four. And just like that JV team, you're just trying to stack stops against this West Salem team and limit your mistakes. And Kelly drives into lane. Nice look down low. And that missed the, missed the easy one. And we're going to get a tie-up. That that's a Reese that's with a miss. Or sack it. Yes, re-sack it. Re -sack it. <laughs> the face she gave her teammate was kind of like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, I don't think she expected the... The strength of Kennedy Brigham to get that ball onto the ground either, too. So now Brigham from the free throw line, and she hits. So Westby has doubled up West Salem early here. And I tell you once again, Dave, when, when, when Westby makes bat, when make, they make those shots, they are an awful tough team to beat. So yeah, and especially with uh, Kennedy Brigham, Dan. This, this team kind of rolls in response to how she's playing. A nice look, good hands by Jada Berg, and another steal for Westby. Jothan brings the ball across the line. Westby up 8 4 right now, 14 minute mark. And that's uh, that's going to be off of West Salem, they say. I didn't do a very good job on the camera work there. <laughs> McKenna Ely coming in now for West Salem as Reese Second will get a break. West Salem has a lot of depth. They do. Also on the floor is Quick 22, Sydney Quick, daughter of Coach Matt Quick. Another block for, who was that down there? That was uh, Johnson? That was number 30, number 30. I think that's 30. a start. McKenna Ely, yep. Ely just came just in. Just came in and got a block shot right away. Now she gets the ball into the post. Cross court pass on the block. And that's going to be Westby basketball. That's a, boy, when that, when that pass works, it's really effective. That's a, that's a tough angle to catch that basketball as it comes across the lane straight horizontally there. 
So another turnover for West Salem. And so far, Westby's defense, as I kind of figured, it is up to the task so far. Niemeyer back in. And I believe it's Kelly getting the break. And that was a yeah, that's a tough pass to me. Yeah, that was a tough pass. It was good. Maybe a good idea, but uh, West Salem all over that one. And it comes down and ties this game up. That was... Johnson. Megan, Megan Johnson. Johnson. No, Dan, last year she I played the steal. she played the point. Yeah, yeah the freshman for him. Quick yeah. transition, turnover. That's what West has to eliminate. You know, you get those turnovers and quick points and they get score points in bunches. We're gonna get a jump ball here, I think. And that's good strong hands by Sam Niemeyer there. And this is gonna it's gonna go to West Salem. Megan Johnson or Megan Nelson coming into the game now. Brigham will get the break. This is uh I don't know, I must have missed a jump ball, but I thought this was the third jump ball, which would, should be Westby's ball. But I forget that stuff all the time, so we're going to go with that the scorekeepers are right. Three in the corner, no good. And doesn't get the block out. And, and a quick foul then on Johnson. She missed a shot, reached in, got the foul. Good strong rebound by Berg. We're all tied up here at eight. They're checking the number on the foul, I think. Who did the, committed the foul. He's signaling 24. Or is it 42? Yes, but he means 42. I can never tell. Well, he'd be, yeah, 42. Yeah, I don't know. Right I, now, I would, would be the first I number. Was 42 as the foul is on. <laughs> I think that's what they were probably trying to clear up, too. I don't think 24, Addy Ferguson, has been in the game for West Salem yet. And that pass is stolen right away off the inbound. And that's a bucket. For Sydney Quick and nearly gets another one, and now we get another tie up. This one's going to go to West, go to Westby, but we've got a we're going to get a timeout here. They're going to have to figure something out on those inbound passes because West Salem is all over them. But that gives us a chance to look at some of our spots here. It's 10 to 8. West Salem has taken the lead here, 12:28 to go in the half. This tonight's game brought to you by the Vernon Memorial Healthcare. VMH offers a five-star patient experience, 16 straight years of outstanding service based on centers for Medicare and Medicaid. And the VFW of Viroqua, supporting many veterans in the area. The VF, Viroqua VFW lends itself to welcoming veterans of all ages to their post. Remember, no one does more for veterans than the VFW. And the Viroqua Booster Club, supporting many of the teams of Viroqua High School and the Booster Club works closely with coaches and administration to assist in many ways. Contact Carl Zuby or any Booster Club officer to get involved with the Blackhawks. So once again, Westby boys playing Viroqua boys tonight in Viroqua. This time uh, Jolton will take the inbounds and boy McLean with almost another steal. Berg with a quick three from the corner. That's no good and West Salem is on the run. Now they nice get feet inside in the post, yeah. There's a three from the wing from Sydney Quick. Westman's got to do a better job contesting that shot. They had defenders coming out hands down. They got to come out hands up. This is West Salem team with multiple players who can knock that shot down. 13 to 8, just like that. West Salem has grabbed the lead. Jolton. Little 15-footer is no good. Tries to save it, but it goes out of bounds. It'll be West Salem basketball as Reese Sackett, I believe, checks in for McConkie. So Westby at the point now. They got to start stacking some stops up. Salem really moving the ball quickly. Yeah, so the JV did too. I mean, they're, they're, I think their their program is taught. Let's don't not hold on to this thing too long. We need to reverse the basketball, get that zone moving. Must be in a man to man here, however. And there's a stop as Brigham gets the rebound. Now we'll look to stop the run, and not that time. Another turnover for Westby. Niemeyer able to run that down and save it, but right to Westby. Now 
Nice strong move from Hannah Nelson, and she gets the bucket. Through some contact and brings Westby to back within three. It's 13-10, and that'll be a turnover on Westby. West Salem, I'm sorry. Hannah Nelson can really slice through the lane, Dan. This is a good example of what she can do. Right. She can go strong. Yeah, they, they need there. her to be more aggressive offensively tonight. She's going to get a break now as Aaron Gluck checks into the ball game. It'll stop that nine-point run, and Stellner also on the floor. I'm going to get an official's timeout. This official is a kind of picky, Dan. I remember him in a lot of boys' right. games. Was, he, uh, was it a, a warning? A warning, warning, yeah. Too close? Too close. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. I don't think she was in any different spot than she is now. But okay, move on. Foul mm -hmm. committed on West Salem. That's already their fourth team foul. I, I remember this is the last game, too. Uh, West Salem, they're not afraid to foul people. They're going to stay aggressive. They've they got so much depth. You know, they're not afraid yeah. to put the other yeah. team on the free throw line. They're, they're, they're going to do what they do and try to steal the basketball. And Second the fouls the happen, foul. that happens. Grass on the floor now for Westby. Two fires went in from the baseline for three. Well, she didn't hesitate. You know, she, she knows her role out there and you know, tried to get, steal a couple baskets. And she was open. She took the shot, tied the game. Good for Westby her. now on a nine-point run of their own. And in, in and out, Grass controls the board. Now Blue goes strong to the basket. Gives to Brigham. That's good basketball right there. And Brigham with the finish. Good, good follow by Brigham. Good find. So Westby has effectively curtailed West Salem's first run, and they're on a run of their own now. They retake the lead, 15-13, nine and a half minutes to go. And that's knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with West Salem, but a little spark of fire here on both ends of the floor for Westby. And quick bringing Johnson right back in for... And we've, we've, talk, we've talked about West Salem's depth, but I think uh, Westby's, Westby's bench players would like to make a statement of their own here, saying, hey, we can do some things too. And, They've got Westby right back into this ball game and with the lead. Well, Dan, that game against Hillsborough, this is the five right here that took took a tight game and built a 12-point lead. You're right. <clears throat> Must be winning that, I believe, by seven eventually. Johnson, corner. Good rebound by Aaron Gluck. Bergen will control it. She'll bring it up. Berg set a check back in. Stellner, good spot for her to shoot. It is got a good shot. Yep, hits down. Yeah, there again. When this team hits shots, they are tough to beat, and they just hit a bunch of them. 8.52 to go in the first half. Westby has a 17-13 lead. Timeout taken by West Salem. And we have today's game also brought to you by the Viroqua Dental Center. For a great smile, be sure to have all your dental work completed with Dr. Leanne Klum at the Viroqua Dental Center, 637-2655. And the Vossateague Funeral Home, serving the communities of DeSoto, Viola, Gays Mills, Viroqua, and Westby. It's the Vossateague Funeral Home in Westby, 634-2100. And we've got the Westby Co-op Creamery, quality dairy products from the Westby Co-op Creamery. The convenience store is open seven days a week. And the Westby Co-op Credit Union. You will find it at Westby Co-op Credit Union in Richland Center, Cashin, Viroqua, Coon Valley, and Westby, among other places. Once again, Westby Co-op Credit Union. So West Salem takes the time out. What a run for the Lady Norris. They needed that. 17-13, they have the lead. We played just about, oh, a half of a half, huh, Dave? 8.52 to go here yeah. in, in the game. Long ways to go, but... A good, a good, a good response by Westby there. You know they got out to that little bit of a lead, and then a few turnovers and steals, and West Salem went out to a five-point lead, I believe. But it's been all Westby since, and they lead 17-13 now. Bird coming in for Jolson, the way it looks. Good hands by Brigham, and she comes up with a steal. Oh, goes through Luke's hands, and 
and now we're going to get a foul. Boy, that's great hustle. And nice job by Kennedy Brigham. A good idea. Kind of went for the went for the haymaker there, trying to get that to Luke as she was running by, and the pass was just a little behind her, and ends up being a turnover. But nice job by both Brigham and Luke there, as they both Luke and Grass take a seat. Good minutes there from from Westby's bench. That's a great pass down to the block. A little dribble on a move for Reese Sackett, and she gets the bucket. That was good basketball by West Salem. That was a sharp pass. And Four on three. Must be advantage. Yeah, I had a chance to that. There's a shot by Hebner. That's no good. And West Salem gets the rebound. And Johnson turns and goes up ahead here to Kelly. Little hesitation dribble right to the rack. She overlays it. And coming out of it is Stellner. She's in trouble here, though. And we're going to get a foul. foul. Yep. That's two on Kelly. That kind of reminds me of the last, last game they played. That's kind of how she plays. Yeah, and I'm sure that's exactly what they ask her to do. Like, you know, they have the depth, especially at the guard position, it looks like, where they can all afford to be aggressive. Not that she wants to get fouls, but... You know, if you get two steals for every foul, that's a pretty good trade-off, huh? That it is. Seven-minute mark, 17 Westby, 15 West Salem. Well, since that timeout, West Salem's defensive pressure has picked up a little bit, to say the least. Their hands are... But in every passing lane, it's 17-15. Westby still has a lead. Seven minutes to go here in the first half. And, uh, and they're going to get a cheap one there on, on Niemeyer. She was actually bodying uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Brigham really heavy before. I, yeah, I, I, I was thinking I, I, to myself, so too. if you're going to put the body on Brigham, you better go with a lot of strength because Kennedy's awfully strong. Yeah, I, I, I believe. I remember watching uh, Sam Niemeyer play last year, some JV, and then she played a fair amount of varsity as a freshman, too. She, she's a little shorter, but I, she's, I think she doesn't back down from anybody oh. else's strength. She's got a little bit of her own, I think. So Third leading scorer on this team. Yeah. Westby's offense been in a little bit of cahoots here the last couple possessions. And that's what happens on a miss. West Salem gets out on a run out and they get the layup. Like, what that roll on that? I didn't think she's going to get that. I didn't either. But you have got to sprint back on a win, on a miss. And if there's a long rebound, they're going to go. Nearly stolen away. And they're, they're going to be a turnover. Thought it was tipped out by West Salem, but they're saying it was off Brigham last. Game knotted up at 17 each, 624 mark. Well, Salem on a 6 0 run now. Game of runs. Well, it's a 50 50 ball, and a good job by West Salem to keep it. But quick cut off, they're swinging around. Another nice offensive rebound and a finish there for Josie Brudos is in the game, the freshman. A couple of 50-50 balls there, Dave. Westby was on the short end of getting them, and that's... Uh, yeah, that one that came off of someone's hand and right into her, into Bruce's hand. Joel with a nice fake, bringing now baseline, and she'll catch it for two. Long two ties it back up at 19, but West Salem coming right back. Ponky, good strong movement, a great look underneath, but I think that was blocked by Nelson. Tipped out of bounds off of West Salem. That'll be Westby basketball. So good recovery defensively for Sack Sackett has Westby. missed a couple of those right there, point blank. Stellner back into the ball game now for Knotted up here 19 Westby. each. Five minute mark. 
And the another turnover. Oh. That Drew was a nice, nice job play. by Brutus. Very nice catch and finish yeah. with the left hand there. Knew sure where she was in the lane. Knew she'd get the two steps. And oh. Now Johnson, that might be two on her. Yeah, nobody on the West Sandals had liked that call, but I thought it was a pretty obvious one. It kind of depends on now you have to, as a coach, you have to tell your players, you know, you got to adjust to this. Well, I mean, this is a close ball game. And now Westby's, Westby's shooting free throws here for the rest of the half here. And if they can make hay here, they, you know, it's a good chance to keep them in this ball game. 21-19, they got a chance to tie it up the free throw line. Yeah, I would think now that they're in the bonus, you'd almost have to back off a little bit as Brigham hits the front end of the bonus. Fouls now, whoops, seven on West Salem, only one on Westby. Here comes 12 in Kelly Beck, and she has two. Johnson leaves, she has two. I mean, you want to play aggressive, I think, Dave, but uh, you, when you get into the bonus with five minutes to go, I think you got to back off a little bit oh, yeah, in, I, in a tight game. And I think when, when two of your better players are sitting on the bench now with yeah. two, that's a... Uh, uh, Brigham ties it up at the free throw line. Hannah Nelson She'll coming back in. Westby going to apply some pressure now in the backcourt. Near steal by Jotham. West Salem handles the pressure. Gets to McConkey. She drives hard. McConkey not a factor yet, but here comes a three, and it's going to be over the top. Sack and another rebound. She is tough in the post. Long arms. Yeah, I mean, West Salem, a couple of times, they've just done a better job of high-pointing the basketball and rebound. Westby's at position, but they've just not gone and got the basketball. And Quick gonna, three, right side. That's missing. Miss, miss everything. And Westby catches a break there. They give a second chance, but unable to score out of it. Quick not afraid to shoot, but she's only about one of six right now. And she's had two air balls. She'll come off because here comes Niemeyer back on the floor. And also onto the floor is number 14. Oh, McConkie comes back in. Nelson clears to Jothan who gives a Stellner, and Westby's into their offense. And it's, it's been a kind of a tough goal here. Last year has a great look, and Jothan's a good, strong catch, but gets blocked by Mark. I thought Johnson, Dan was going to pick up her third. I did too. Now a held ball. Now a jump ball. It'll stay with West Salem. I thought, for, I thought, oh boy, that's a risky play by Johnson. As she uh, aggressively went for it and fortunately didn't get called with the push. And that's oh, too easy. That's strength right there. That for is strength. Anna McConkie kind of got position on Kenzie Stellner there and went right up through the contact, and she got an and one opportunity. She was deep. She's done that before. I've seen her do that several times on those inbound passes. That she's, she has an ability to get position. She's got a great understanding of angles and caught that in perfect position. No choice but to, get, to give up the end one. And missed the free throw, however, and Jothan gets the rebound. 349 here. Must be down by 2, 23 21. And another turnover. And West Salem just has not capitalized on the turnovers. No, I think Westby's defense has pretty much been up to the task so far. This is this is the kind of game Westby wants as we're going to get Hebner, Grass, and Brigham back into the ball game for Westby. Long inbounds to Kelly. She'll get over to McConkey. Now back to Niemeyer. Kelly, wing, takes a look, decides not to take it. She's looking to get it over to Johnson, which she does. Post being guarded well by Brigham on McConkey. They're not giving her anything down there. And now a turnover. Westby foul on McConkey. Right, that's there. Look at that. There's a foul underneath your own basket. And that's going to put it all the way to the other end. And Brigham's going to get to shoot some free throws, try to tie this one back up. It's interesting right now, Dan. West Salem, when when Westby's top guard or on, on the elbow drops down to double team the post, a West Salem player comes right behind her and gets herself right in the middle of the lane. That time it was Niemeyer, but she couldn't put it in. Right. 
Uh, so that shot is no good. So missed the front end of the bonus there, and here comes West Salem right back. And that one got a little away from, from Kelly, and that's going to be a turnover. This has been, I, I wish I've been keeping track of turnovers by these two teams, Dan, because uh, it's easily double digits with them both combined. Oh, sure. Well, that's pretty good. Pretty good basketball movement there, and Jolton can't get the shot to go, but Brigham corrals that rebound. Heber's going to try from 15. That goes no good. And it'll be a scramble for the ball. Probably get a tie up here. It should say it was Westby, so. Good active. Good ball movement there, West. We got a great look from Aubrey Jolson. Just rimmed out. Uh, turnover as the overpass. Trying to hit Jolson. Flew to the stands. 23-21 West Salem, 2:22 here in the first half. Quick chose not to pull the trigger on that one. So this is uh, you know the kind of point in that game, baby, to end the half strong here. You don't want to let West Salem get on a run here and get momentum going into halftime because Westby's taken most of their most of their punches so far. Brutus, right wing, has got it. Good shooter, Rosie Brutus. Well, I'll tell you what, she's probably learned a little bit from her dad, huh? Yeah. Mike Brutus, an all-star really here. Uh. Oh, no, they're going to add one opportunity there. And this, this is what I'm talking about. It was just 20 seconds ago, Dave, this was a 23-21 game, talking about ending the half strong. And now it's 28-21 at the free throw line, trying to go up, going trying to go up eight here. Ely with the score. Free throw is up and too strong, but West Salem almost gets the rebound. Now Brigham rips it out. That's not a jump ball. They call it a jump ball, but they, they gotta let him play a little bit. Yeah, that wasn't held very long, was it? No, it was right not. There. There, 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 Kenny Brigham had that basketball, and the other girl didn't. <laughs> um, I'll stand by that. Anyway, it's West Salem's basketball. They're going to come out of the inbounds play here. And Brutos thought about it, but Jolson closed out quickly. Near steal by Brigham. And not, not having payback here. I don't know if that was much of a jump ball either. But Kennedy oh. Brigham earned that one as now Westby has the basketball. She came crashing in there like you take a hockey player into the wall. <laughs> yeah, right. 125 left here. 21-28 West Salem. Keepner with the basketball on the wing. Defended by Brutos. Grass off the rim. Ely with the rebound. Here comes Quick. She'll pull it up. One minute left. 28-21 West Salem in the corner. Brutus. Brutus, even in that uh, we in that JV game, but she doesn't have a really clean look. She's not going to pull the trigger. There she had a good look there because no one's around her. But that's off to the right side. Bounces around, and there, of course, is Brigham pulling it down and bringing it up. 12.42 seconds left. Big Bird possession now. here for Westby. Joseph thought about it. Kind of an off balance step through by Hebner with the miss. She tried to go around the contact rather than through it. So West Salem seems to be content to take the last shot of the half here. Don't want to give up anything easy here. Quick, McConkey. That's off McConkey's foot. It should be an over and back. If oh, she there should it. be. A, I'm surprised that's not a foul. I'm really surprised that's not a foul. I thought I heard a whistle. Even that just was... piled right, right into the floor. Yeah, I thought as soon as McConkie touched that, it should have been over and back because she dribbled it off her own foot, Dave. Yeah. You know, that should have yeah. been over and back yeah. as soon as she touched it. Officials are talking about something. Well, these guys have had an interesting first half. They've... 
So I don't know what the officials are talking about here. Players are kind of hard to figure out what exactly how to play because sometimes you can really be aggressive, nothing gets called, and a little right. touch gets called, and they're just trying to sort this through a little bit. 28-21, 1.5. Uh, this, this is not going to end well for Westby. They're going to call a foul here, I bet you, yeah, on, I, on, on Heap. I, I would think so, though. I mean, that's not... It should have been over and back, Dave. Yeah, yeah, but still, I'm just saying on the I, foul itself, she it just It should have really, been over and back. She drove her in there and right into the ground. As soon as she touches that ball, Dave, it's over and back. And oh, yeah. That, that foul, that occurred before the foul. And, I, and, and they're, they got to put time back on the clock if they're going to do that because how much time how much time elapsed? Oh, there must have been at least four seconds left. That yeah, should be a sideline. Now there are officials talking to Kenyon to score. He's going to, oh, wow, 5.5 they put on there. I don't know. That's not good officiating, Dave. No, I agree. Not good at all. And that's that's why I was saying earlier, these kids kids can't figure out how the officiating is going. No, but you, you, you can't. You, you can't. Oh, nice that's block and out of bounds, 2.2. That was a nice play. And well, boy, good Hannah, recovery. Hannah, uh, Hannah Nelson with just a wonderful job yeah. defensively as West Salem. Two passes, and they had it right under the hoop. Now 2.2 seconds left, 21-28. McConkie, that's tipped up, and she gets that shot off, but it's no good. And But after all that, nothing really changed. It's 28-21. West Salem has a lead going in to halftime. Oh, nice run for West Salem. It was 23-21 with just under two minutes to go. And then they, they got a three-pointer and a steal and an and-one opportunity. Missed a free throw. But they're going to go up seven into the locker room. we got a good one going. Stick with us. We'll be back in about oh, eight minutes for the second half.
We are back here at the Westby Fieldhouse. We got second half action coming up. We got a good one. 28-21 West Salem with the lead. They went on a run, a little 5-0 run here to end the first half and take that turn that two-point lead into a seven-point lead. Meanwhile, seven miles to the south, the Westby boys are taking on Viroqua right now. Westby with a 12-point lead, 34 to 22. Well, tonight's game also brought to you by American Family Insurance. For all your protection under one roof, call 634-3612 or 638-3612 in Westby and Viroqua. American Family Insurance and the ADRC. When it comes to making connections between you and your community, it's the Aging and Disability Resource Center of Vernon County. Well, West Salem starts out with the basketball here, and they get a missed a bunny again right away. Berg blocks the second shot. So that sack it again down in there. Just not able to. Cash in. She sets her third one rounder. She has not put in. And Berg quickly there for the block. Then the second attempt. Yeah, it was good. Didn't, didn't quit on that one. Now we're going to get another turnover. And can't make that another up here. Boy, they're leaving the door open here. And it's kind of, Johnson's kind of threw that one up. That's another jump ball. I just don't agree with all these jump balls. It's, I'll tell you what, that sets 12 again. Kelly, she just gets right in there. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I guess that's jump ball probably by definition, but I give him a chance to rip the ball away. But I suppose there's supposed to the rules there to keep people from getting hurt. I understand that. McConkey in the lane now. Just pulled that one out of there. McConkey only two points on the night. She averaging 13 a game. Kelly down the lane. Nothing there. Kick out to McConkey. Now she sends a three ball on the way. Out the front of the rim. Sack it. Another rebound. Now Kelly. They are. I wonder what their shooting percentage, Dan. It must be like 20, if that. Yeah, it's not good. You know, and, and that's not, you know, they're, they they feast off of turnovers and opportunities and stuff. You know, their half-court game is is not, I mean, it's, it's, it's not bad, but it's not their strength, you know. So if we can keep them in the half-court, you know, and, and, and make some shots, we should be able to get, get ourselves back into this ball game. Must be coming out and slowing this game down a little bit. Jothan from the baseline. That's a good look. Doesn't get it to go, but fouls gets her rebound. Oh, and now she dribble it off of her opponent's foot, and West Haley comes the other way. Tough break for Jothan there. And that's straight oh, down the lane. That's wow. good basketball right there. That's, that's secondary break. They've done some really good things off of that tonight, and that brings it up to a nine-point lead. Uh, run, you run the floor like that on the front yeah, fast break. That's, that's, that's good fantastic. things happening. Oh, just in the nick of time. Well, he called the timeout when she still had the ball, but they didn't blow the whistle until she didn't. Right. <laughs> West Salem up by nine now, 21-30. You know, that's what, Six, that's, that's what they, second half. That's what they do, Dave. You know, it's just they, you, you, you blink and they've added four points to their lead, you know, and then they just keep doing the next thing you know, you look and you're down big. So hopefully Westby can Well, it was 18, it was back. eight to four in the first half, Dan. And like you said, they come back quickly. They stall since eight to 13. Yeah. And all this one's starting off in yep. the second half. So you just got to, you got to stay with it. Stay with it. Well, we also have the Bank of Cash in today's event being sponsored by the Bank of Cash and call Scott Wall at 608-654-5121 for all of your banking and investment needs. So Westby's going to inbound under their own basket again. And I think he just said he could run the baseline, but she can't. So Nelson gets it taken from the backside. Oh, and they call a foul. And that is number yeah. three now on yeah. Brindley Kelly. A good piece of coaching there by Coach Quick over there. He's saying you tip that ball up instead of hacking down at it, you get the steal. But as soon as you go up and you know from the top down, you get that call every time. Now Glue couldn't know the ball game. Got the ball in the corner against the Brigham. Brigham did a good job of getting herself open. Yeah. Brigham's kind of the safety net, I think, in these kind of situations for for a lot of the players out there. And there's another foul. That's going to be Kelly. That's four. And you won't see her for probably a while now. Yeah, and she's going to she's gonna take a seat as uh, I think that's Quick comes back into the game for West Salem. That inbounds pass. Is, oh, who can we able to run it down? But West Brigham Salem not ready for that. And that's... Snap, snap, play. 
And West Salem, West Salem's hands are just so, I mean, they're, when, they, when they go get a loose ball, Dave, they're grabbing it. We're tipping it around. They're grabbing it. And that three is good from Quick. And just like that, it is a 33-21 to 21 deficit for Westby. It's 15.35 to go here, and Westby has to call another timeout. Well, we have the Bethel Home and Services. Bethel Home with housing facilities in Viroqua, Coon Valley, Cashin, and Lafarge providing that unique care for Vernon County residents. Bethel Home and Services. And Bobby Johns. Bobby Johns is now open for your enjoyment. You will find your all-time favorite breakfast, lunch, and dinner items on their extensive menu. Call ahead at 608-654-7611. Bobby Johns and Cashton. And we also have Cade Clearing. When it comes to clearing out old tree stumps or taking down hazardous trees, be sure to contact Cade Clearing. Contact Brett at 608-615-0827 or Riley at 608-632-3678. Cade Clearing. And how about Carmen Fortune, your local New Directions real estate expert? Looking to buy a new home in the Westby surrounding areas? New in quotation marks. Be sure to stop in at the New Directions Real Estate in Westby and talk to Carmen Fortune for the best local insight of the area. And we got scoreboard issues here as it just went blank. So I'm sure there's some panic going on at the scorer's table, but I think looks like he's punching buttons and getting her under control. Which need it. Well, we have the Cash and Building Supply. Be sure to stop in to see Kevin Kirking or Courtney Cusey, CBS Designs, for all of your new building or renovation plans. Cash and Building Supply. Call 654-7871. Still working on a clock issue here, so I'll try to... I think, what was the score, Dave? It was about uh, 23-21, West Salem, right? I'm kidding. It was 33-21. 33-21. I'll just see if they're going to reset the clock. Maybe, oh. we can, maybe we can gain a couple points out of the deal. Huh? I'm looking at my running score. We were thinking, <laughs> when was it 21-33? It was at the 22 mark of the first half. Right. Oh, we have Cash and Farm Supply. Since 1984, Cash and Farm Supply is focused on organic feed manufacturing and distribution. Stop in and talk to Ernie or any of his team and discuss the benefits of organic farming. And the Chaseburg... Farmers Union Co-op, located at 113 Cactus Drive in Chaseburg. Give John Maslevichek or any of his team members a call at 483-2194 for quick and friendly service. Well, I think, Dave, what do I do? Maybe we'll just take a, we'll take a break here. Shut the microphones down. I'll point the camera at the blank scoreboard so we can see when it comes back on. But uh, yeah, we'll take a break here. It's, it is 33-21. We're into the second half here. West Salem has the lead. And uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Well, as you can see, the clock is back running. 15.35 to go here in the ballgame. 33-21, West Salem with the lead. Dan, that last time out, Westby was, looked like they were in a box and one. They, they were tried to shut, put some pressure on Johnson. You know, they've been, uh, yeah, they've, they've been doing quite a bit of that. You know, the box and one, triangle and two. And, uh, Yeah, I, I, you know, and, and yeah, who am I to say? But I don't know. I think I think West Salem's got an awful lot of weapons. So you try to key on, you try to key on, you know, one or two players. I think is just kind of open yourself up to yeah, I agree to somebody else. But you know, I, you know, change it up, show something different at them. You know, we just got to keep getting some stops, and or just keeps you know whoever you're guarding on in the two, just keep switching around, and yeah. whoever gets the hot hand, they stick stick the D on them. Yeah, but, but you know, and I think. Uh, now, taking care of the basketball is priority one here. They've really struggled with that here in this half. And 
getting a lot of up. trouble with this, the, the fast pace of it. Yeah. Another steal there as Niemeyer got. Kick out that quick. overhead pass. And that's going to be a wide open three. That's off the front rim. Stellner gets the rebound. And that's nearly stolen. Kenny Brigham just stepping through and taking charge. Fourteen fifty six, twenty one thirty three, West Salem. And that one's just tossed over to Coach Erkey. There's no one expecting someone to break, and no one did. Here comes Jolton for John, for Nelson. Well, Dan, Jerry Pettigrew retiring after this season. I don't believe it. <laughs> he has been coaching for over 50 years. That's yeah, amazing. What an amazing career. Truly, I, not, not, he's, not, he's not just a Wisconsin legend anymore. He's a national legend. I don't know if McConkey misses. Berg fighting for that rebound. We're going to get a foul. Yeah, we're going to get a foul. One of those, good job by the official there. That was definitely more risk than basketball. I like the fact that Bird used some, used some strength yeah, there. She, she really did. ripped it out. She did. And that's, I think, what caused the foul. I think it might have been a tie-up early, but by her trying to pull that through. Yeah. And I think that's on sa is that Sackett. It's her second. Jolton's now going to inbound. Nelson checks into the ballgame for Kennedy Brigham. Nelson. And there's a turnover right away to Niemeyer. She can't get the shot to go, but they, boy, they're just all over the rebounds. They're getting every 50-50 ball, and now that three is nothing. Uh, saved right back to West Salem. I say they're just another rebound from McConkey and another here. shot here, and that's just yeah. It's you know, like I say, Dave, and, and credit West Salem. Like I say, when they go after the basketball, they're grabbing the basketball. I feel like we're tipping it, yeah, and they're grabbing it. And they're hustling. Very strong hands. I mean, how, how many out of bounds saves did they make? Their right. three, three on one break. Stellner curls to the inside, gets over to Berg. She's got an open look, and she finally gets one in. That's her first score dance is the first um, two buckets of the game. So good to get her back on yeah, track. Yeah, they're going to need they're going to need more out of her. There's back to lead back to 12. Another three from the wing and not really closing out as well as they need to here. As Niemeyer hits that 19 footer, it's a long two. Back to a 14 point lead. Grass set the check in. Ely set the check in. Nelson set to return. Berg, three-pointer, left side, got it. Closed the gap, 26-37, still an 11-point lead for yep. West Salem. Plenty of time, minute 13 mark. minutes to go, yep. And just got to start stacking up some stops. You got to get do a better job rebounding. Yeah, that's what we said early on, and very before, before, before the game started, we discussed how important that rebounding is going to be. So Grass and Nelson in yeah. for Berg and Stellner. Oh, Berg with the hot hand, and she's going to sit down. I don't think it'll be for very long. I would hope not. In the Nelson. In the nice job by Megan Nelson. Gets the tie up, and that's going to be a Westby basket. A nice quick. double by Megan Nelson. She got in there and, and forced the tie up. And now Jothan will inbound. Gibson Nelson. Uh, just got to calm down a little bit. And that new tie up right goes right back to West Salem. I'm surprised I thought Niemeyer was going to get a call on her. She's going to reach over the back, almost laying on well, Nelson. You know what? Maybe in a couple minutes they'll change their mind and they call the foul. Might, they uh, might. Not, not to, not to re-harp on that, but I guess you've got to give them the forearm shiver into the ground before they get that call on. So Gluck in for Hannah Nelson. Conkey, just a good veteran move right down yeah. the line. I'm surprised. I thought that Niemeyer was going to get called for traveling or because she moved her spot. Yeah, yeah, now Niemeyer does get called for the foul. This is where Westby hurts a little bit, just in the guard play. Nelson and another, just a little knee shove by Niemeyer. She got away with it. 
Nelson free throw line to bring him out. Carter by Quick. Now Jolthan, grass posting up. Luke jumper inside. Jolthan rebound and fouled. Two that's shots what they're going to do. Up. Yeah, let's uh, let's get to the free throw line and right, make hay, make some hay there. Aubrey's going to get a couple of shots here. Brutus and Brigham will come in after the first. First free throw good for Jolton. First point of this game. I didn't really have many shot attempts. Just a couple in the first half, I remember. And Westby not disguising their press very well as they got Gluck and Hebner down on the blocks on this rebound. So if this goes in, you can expect some pressure. But they get the robbery tracks down their own rebound there. Gives to Brigham. Brigham skip past the grass. Another one more pass to Gluck. And we're going to reset here. Good job by Jolson to get that rebound. Jolton. Good move by Jolton. Boy, a lot of contact there, too. Right? That one blocked by Ely. Here comes Berg. Berg going to get back into the ball game for Westby. Brigham for three from the wing. That's up and no good. And Johnson off and running. That should be a charge, and it is. Now the Heber draws a charge. Eleven thirty-two mark. Westby down by twelve right now. It's twenty-seven thirty-nine, and that is the sixth team foul on West Salem. So for the final eleven and a half minutes of this game, Dave Westby's in the bonus. They need to take advantage of that. And that's three on Johnson. So Johnson with three. And what that does is that's probably going to get him out of their pressure. Kelly with four. Inside the Berg, she tips it out to Bergen. Little volleyball move there. Hebner now back to Berg. Berg goes baseline, cut off quickly by McConkey, and kind of a soft pass from Hebner to Bergen. And let's see them get their hands on, but it'll stay with Westby. And here comes Stelner. 11 minute mark. 12 point West Salem lead 39-27. Well, I think Westby needs to just start attacking that basket. Try to get to that foul line. That shot is no good. And West Salem once again just a one and done for Kelly back on the floor. She's got four for Quick's team. She'll swing it here. McLean. Got it. Niemeyer. Or Niemeyer got it. Up. A big shot for the sophomore. She too been held well below her average right now. That's just her fifth point. 10-30, 42-27. As biggest, West Salem starting to open the, it up yeah, a little bit. Biggest lead of the ball game, I believe, for West Salem up to 15 points. And again, a miscue on the cut, and the ball goes out of bounds again. That's just that's uh, starting to get. Those are the kind of turnovers right there. It's just, it's an unforced. There's nothing there, just nobody there. And it's been quite a few of those tonight. Some, some, some forced turnovers, but some of them have just been errant passes. And that, uh, gotta clean that up. Timeout, quick. And West Salem. It's 39 27. West Salem, 11 or 10 03 mark now. Well, tonight's game also brought to you by Coon Valley Telecommunications. Coon Valley Telecommunications. Check out the various TV packages that you can now get through CVT. Add any number of choices for movie packages for your enjoyment. Coon Valley Telecommunications there in Coon Valley. And how about Culver's? Home of the concrete mixer. Culver's offers a flavor of the day each and every day. 1002 North Main Street, Viroqua. Best of wishing best of luck to the Blackhawks and Norsemen throughout the year. Culver's. And the Daily Brew Company, Westby's newest business, Daily Brew. 
Stop in for terrific coffees and mouth-watering sandwiches every day. 100 Washington Street, 634-4001, the Daily Brew Cafe. And every Wednesday night, they have the burger night where part of the um, profits go to uh, an organization. Right. So West Salem, 15-point lead here, under 10 to go, and the basketball. Skip over to Quick. Nope, that's Brutus. If she gets her, set, her feet set and she's squared up, she can shoot. Yep, that, uh, now we're up to an 18-point lead. And this is what Westby did not want. You know, and, and they, they're still playing pretty good defense. Uh, they're just not – didn't take better care of the basketball and get some better possessions here. That's a great pass from Jada Berg, but Stelner can't get the layup to go. And closing out on the shooters, Dan, that's tough to do. Yeah. And that's what they're doing right now is they're crashing in West Salem. They're kicking out. We can't close out quick enough. Sackett and, and um, Johnson set to come back on, and now a foul is finally called on Niemeyer. He's been causing a lot of collisions. Yeah. So someone's coming to the free throw line. That'll be Bergen. Ely will come out. Niemeyer will come out. Sackett, Johnson in. 45 27, 9 15. We'll see if. Bergen can cut into this thing with the clock stopped. You know, I, I, I'm not going not gonna to kid myself. I do have a rooting interest in this game. But if I didn't, watching the matchup between Niemeyer and Bergen would be one to watch. They're the same type of player, and uh, they're, just, they're, they're battling. It's, that's fun to watch that those two go at it. Again, veteran move, McConkie quickly to the, to the baseline, and a little ball foot fake had Stellner and Berg up in the air. Then she went up and drew the contact. We the second team foul on the Lady Norse, but McConkey will shoot free throws. And they get the foul on. Oh! Who'd they get that foul on, Dave? Yeah, three on the board, but we don't have a three on the floor. Oh, yeah, Stellner on. Huh? Stellner? Okay. Yeah, give to her. Yeah, okay, very good. Conkey, no good on the free throw. Missed them both. Great move by Joe. Oh, that's a foul. Wasn't it, Dave? It looks like she got either she she tripped or tripped on a foot. Yeah, so maybe, something maybe, tripped her up. Something yeah. tripped her up. Something tripped her up. And I, uh, I... But we play on. Now a three from the wing, and that is off the back rim, up on top of the backboard. And... Yeah, it'll go to Westby. Uh -oh. 840. 45-27 West Salem. Oh, and a walk. And quick re-enters. So 8.34 to go, 45-27 West Salem. It's been all West Salem here in the second half. Seven-point game at halftime. And Westby with just six points here in the second half. Kelly to McConkey. Now she'll kick it over quick again from the wing. And that one she got. 48-27, now a 21-point game. They all have the green light, don't they? They do. That's a, this is a good basketball team, no doubt. You, you know, and, and the, we talk about the turnovers, you know, got to take care of the ball, but you know, West Salem has a lot to do with, you know, their, their defense as Berg hits the three, and Coach Evener is going to take a timeout. So 48-30, 7.54 to go in this one. Not over yet. Plenty of time, plenty of time to go here. Berg with 14 now. Man, I'll go back to a couple of our sponsors, Eagle Title Company, for peace of mind when it comes to buying or selling. Be sure you're getting the proper legal protection with Coon Valley's Eagle Title Company. And how about embroidery and more? For all your embroidery needs from screen printing, commercial sewing, embroidering, or heat transferring, the place to go is embroidery and more in Westby. And how about old Effinger's Equipment Sales and Service? Sounds like you said we might get some snow on Thursday. That's what they're talking about. Well, it's not too late to go buy a snowblower from Mark Effinger. Stop in today and talk to Mark about the Simplicity Snowblower Selections and what fits your needs. Effinger Equipment, 800 North Main in Viroqua. Call 637-7594.
Westby boys at Faroqua, they are up right now 49-47 with just under three minutes left in that game. So that one was kind of a big lead for Westby. It's kind of gone the other way, kind of the opposite of this one, huh? It has. I don't really want to encourage our viewers to go try to find the, the boys game. I'm happy that you're watching if you're indeed watching. But if you want, it's on Twitch. Ah, maybe if you're a true fan, you got multiple TVs and devices set up. You're watching about four or five games at the same time tonight, huh? That's strong. Now we're going to get a foul. Yeah, I find it pretty well. A good job of yeah. just, just getting it up. She'll step to the line. Free throw is up and good for quick. And West Salem really starting to make a mark on this one. So when Westby drops into Division Four for the playoffs, um, West Salem stays in three. And I was kind of looking at the Division Four. You know, it's, it's kind of nice to think they come down, but boy, there are some. It's a juggernaut. You have Cuba City, you have Aquinas, you have Darlington, you have Mineral Point sitting in there. Um, you have Randolph in that same division. It's that, that oh, division, division four might be as tough as it is. Oh, it is, and even 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 the subsectional that Westby's in. You know, I don't know a lot of the teams. I know Aquinas is there. I know Bangor's there. It's a quality basketball team. So it really can depend on where you go, upper or lower part of that. Um, Aquinas is going to come in with the one seed. Yeah, I, th I, I and, think it's, um, I, right now. I believe it's probably a battle. I, we talked about this one when Westby played Hillsboro. Uh, I think I think it's a battle between uh, West, uh, Westby and Bangor for that two. And uh, with, with with Westby's win over Hillsboro, I know Hillsboro, I believe, has a victory over Bangor, if I'm not mistaken. And the only thing now, they used to, it used to be, it's kind of computer generated now. And, it is. And so, uh, strength of schedule may be the only thing that hampers Westby because the Cooley's just down this year. Well, but they've also they played a lot of teams in the Scenic Bluffs and beat a lot of teams in the Scenic Bluffs. So they beat Royal. They beat, uh, that shot is yeah, no cocky. good. But there it is, another rebound. Once again, Westby's tipping block. it. West Salem's grabbing it. Berg with a good block. There's Sackett with the miss. There's Niemeyer again. And she kind of harasses people pretty well, doesn't she? She is all over the place. Well, back to that seating, though, I think, Dave. I think, uh, oh, boy, is just not looking for that pass. And another turnover. Yep, and carrying the ball carry. definitely. Oh, well, but Westby has uh, has has wins, you know, over several teams in that uh, in that scenic bluffs of conference with Bangor. You know, they beat Royal, they beat Hillsborough, they beat. Uh, I believe there's another scenic. Bluffs. Well, my point is, that, you know. Uh, yeah, it's just going to so, come down to how 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 strong those teams um, yep. come out as, and yep. But I think what would happen there is, I don't want to get too much away from this one, is we've still got six and a half minutes to go as Brigham rims that three out. 49-30, West Salem kick way up to Niemeyer and gets it down over to Johnson, McConkie. McConkie just oh, that's spinning a lot. through. Berg getting on the back side a lot side of basketball of there. Did they get, did they get Brigham on the foul or did they get Berg? They got Berg. They got Brigham, I think. He got Brigham on the block the way it looks. I thought he said five. He put his hands on his hips. Jada I mean, Berg is five, right? Berg, yeah, they Berg called, they, certainly didn't. Um, they called Berg for the foul. Yeah, she certainly didn't block her with her body. Yeah. She only blocked her with her hand cleanly. Uh, so McConkie's going to get some free throws. Man, she's kind of struggled from the line today. As, as a team, they have not shot well from the line. Well, that's about the only thing they haven't done well, huh, Dave? Especially in this half. They're one of eight right now. That one rolls in for McConkie. Twenty-point lead now, fifty to thirty. Oh, Hebner came clean on the backdoor cut and. Didn't see her. Nice job by Stellar. Good move by Stellar. I just can't finish that shot. Tipped around. Brigham comes up with it. Curls into the lane. Taken right off the dribble. Oh, that, that one was clean, apparently. And from McConkie. 
McConkie looks at Brigham and up she goes. And I got another carry. Yeah. Jothan, Grass, and Megan Nelson into the ballgame for Westby. Brigham, Berg, and Hannah Nelson will take a break. So, time is now, Dave. If you're going to make a run and get back into this, you got to do it now, huh? Yeah, if you're West Salem, uh, you might as well not have McConkie bring it down because it's, she's been called back to back, turning it over. Hebner misses off. Nice save by Graff that goes into Johnson's hands and. Nelson trips her up. Nelson, a sportsmanship, comes over and offers to help her up. Just the fourth foul on Westby. 50 to 30, 20 point lead, 538. I think it's the fifth, not that it makes any difference. Dude. Now it's five, yeah. yeah. Just put it up. Conkey will bring it up. She'll her hands straight on top of that ball this time. <laughs> I had, had a conversation with the official. And, you know, he's still looking at it. And good hands by Megan Nelson as she strips that one away, and Stellner comes away with it. Stellner gets into the free throw line. Nice block good, for her. Good move Westby. Gonna go straight up defense right now. Westby just working the perimeter. West Ham was working the perimeter right now. Mount Niemeyer goes down lane, kicks it back out. I don't expect West Ham to be in too big of a hurry to put the ball up here. You know, they, have, they, they can work the ball around. The time is on their side. Time is 4.30 right now, up by 18, 50, 32. Oh, great pass, great catch, great finish. That's, that's a great play by a good basketball team, Dave. That yeah, was, that was nice a touch. tough pass, a tough catch, and a tough finish, and they made it look easy. They're just panicking right now a little bit. A little bit. I, Four oh nine mark. Yeah, this second half has been all West Salem. It was a seven point game at halftime. It's now a twenty point game. I believe just ten points in the second half for Westby. Eleven. It was twenty three or twenty eight twenty one at halftime, correct, Dave? It was, yep. Twenty one twenty eight. I tell you what, when Johnson and McConkey set screens, that's a roadblock. Yeah, you know what? And, 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 and credit West Ham is Stellner's going to get. Oh, again, now they call the over and back. I thought they were going to get Stellner on the foul there. I think that was on the reach, but 345 mark, 32 to 52. And of course, he wants to come in and make make changes to all that guy's calls, but I don't think he was able to change this one. So, get the starting lineup back in the ballgame for Westby. Jothan for three. That's off the rim, no good. And Rudolph with the rebound, ripped away by Brigham, but we'll get a jump ball. It's going to go to West Salem. Westby looks like they're going to come up and put some full court pressure on West Salem. At this point, West Salem has handled it pretty well. In fact, a lot sometimes, I mean, oftentimes they've resulted in missed layups on the other end, right? Ely able to handle that one, and now a foul on the back side by Nelson. Yeah, this this West Salem team, boy, they're, they're a fundamentally strong team. Yeah. You talked about the, 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 the screens, you know, the roadblock with, with McConkie and Nelson setting screens. 
Johnson setting the screens or but you know they're, they're fundamentally they're, they're coming off those screens well they're using the screens well it's I mean this is a, it's a good basketball yeah. team good well coached basketball team and to break a press in the end they had a three on two after they broke the press that's how it's supposed to be isn't it yeah it sure is jump ball yeah, again jump Westby ball. ball as Jolfin and Johnson tie up I feel like it's Saturday morning in some gym at a North Great Northwest tournament with all the jump balls we've had. Today. <laughs> 307 left, 32 52, West Salem. McConkie's going to take a seat. She didn't do, do a whole lot scoring tonight, but uh, she still finds ways to impact the game. Like I say, with her rebounding, her defense, and just the way she runs offense. A couple of nice assists. So, a good, good game for McConkie, even though she didn't show up in the scoring column as much as she usually does. Yeah, we got another jump ball. And you had no, he was gonna, and then he called a foul. And Brutus for what you know, she picked up on her scoring. She had ten tonight. Yeah, you know, this point, and not a lot of shot opportunities. She's just no, nope, she's, she's taking good shots and made them. You know, she's had a good night for the freshman. So Brigham's gonna get a, a one and one opportunity. Missed the front end and you got to travel. Good hustle, just goes to hustle. keep her balance. Yep. Good hustle by Heber to kind of disrupt that. Might have got away with a little bit of contact there to assist her to the floor, but at any rate, it's going to be Westby basketball. And then Nelson goes up with the left hand, can't get the. That's a, that's a great rebound. It's kind of unappreciated, too. That was a, a rebound in traffic. Three passes later, and it's a layup, Dave. That's a yeah. quick one, too. Yep. Through those. 235, 54, 32. You can look at this game and say, well, it's, it's a good thing it's the last time we'll be playing with Salem. We won't see them in the playoffs. But with that said, Aquinas, who sits in our region, beat this West Salem squad by, this squad by 20. Yeah. Yeah, Aquinas, Aquinas is a problem. No, no doubt about it. But you can't worry about them until you get there. That would be the sectional semifinal. You know, if they get that two, or, yeah. that two or three seed, that'd be the sectional semifinal. Um, got a long ways to go before you get there, so not, not nothing to worry about there. Just Some more reserves coming in now. Yen, Addy Yen, number four on the floor. Jolfin Addy the Ferguson, 24, a couple of Addies. Jolfin good in the first. Second. 34 54, 228. Nice little kick up. Yun skips it over here to Ferguson. Good box out by Kluke, allowed Nelson to get in there and get that rebound. Grass little ball fakes, get into the lane. Short on the shot. Yen gets it up here now to Kelly. And that was blocked by Stelner. We're at a minute 35 to go here, 54-34, West Salem with the lead. And a timeout, full timeout for West Salem. At the 135 mark, no, 34 54. He, he, he called five seconds on that. that oh, quick, he did. The quickest five seconds I think I've ever oh, seen. Oh, he did. I think oh, maybe uh, uh, Quick was trying to call timeout. They didn't give it to him, maybe. Because he certainly was saying timeout. I, I, maybe, I, maybe I wasn't paying enough attention, but that was an awful fast five <laughs> for, for this point of the ball game. It's like the Wild yeah. West, huh? Yeah, sure. in the booty and just not able to bank that one in. 
a quick release. And we're approaching one minute left in this one. Meanwhile, it, for Oakwood, it looks like the Westby boys took that victory. Ely. Kelly now. Now we're at 43 seconds. Kelly, drive. Ooh, that was a fall against Nelson, but looked like a forearm delivered wow. by Kelly. There's no, way. no position to make that call, Dave. I, mean, I huh? don't want to exactly criticize right too much, but you know, the other official down there is looking right at it. He has the angle on that call, but I, I don't understand why he felt he had to make that call. And Nelson's strong enough that she doesn't get yeah. pushed that easy. Anyway, we're going to get some free throws for six seconds. Booty off her fingertips into Ely's hands, and here's Nelson down in That's there. That's not a jump ball. I'm going to call a jump ball. I'm not crying all out. I, I'm losing my patience with the jump balls, Dave. That's not a jump ball. Be, yeah. There's no possession there. Thank God they don't tip it anymore, huh? Right. This one's winding down under 20 seconds now. Into Yen. Not able to get it down. So Westfield will bring it up just under 14 now. Elbow. Kind of a crash in there. Grass picks it up, gets fouled. Well, there'll be some bruises to take here tomorrow. Yeah, you know what? Uh, both teams played real yeah, hard tonight. Yeah, you know, yeah. Credit Westby. It didn't go very well for them in the second half, but but they played hard. They, you know, they gave it their all. It's things just didn't go their way. Grass picks up her fourth point of the night. And rolled out five and into the hands of Ely, and that does it. So Westby will go down to West Salem. 54-35, and at one time this was an awful close game. 23-21 at one point, Dave. It was 23-21 the 222 mark, Dan, yep. of the first half. And Man. after that, Westby is able to put 14 on the board. And meanwhile, West Salem puts 31 on the board. Yeah, that's so. And, and that's what West Salem does. That's what they did last year, too. I remember, I remember here, the game last year. This way. Westby actually came back and I believe got to within one with like four minutes left, three minutes left, and West Salem won by 20. They went on a 20 to 20 to old run to end the game. You know, they, wow. they scored a bunch of points and bunches, and, and they kind of did that here in the whole second half. And uh, uh, congratulations to West Salem. They took a big step into winning the Cooley Conference outright tonight. But uh, nothing to hang your head as well if you're a Westby fan or a Westby player. They, uh, they played hard. They're going to be back at it again on Thursday. We'll be here with the coverage against Onalaska Luther as we're, we're getting down to the very end here this season, Dave. That it's, might it's, be uh, it's going that, fast. That game might um, well, it'll probably be a, either a tie or a, if Westby wins, it'll be a straight out second place. If there's a tie, I'm not sure that might be a shared. Westby winning the first one against Luther, and that was a good battle. A good battle. Yep, 35-31. I think that's a score. low-scoring affair. Look forward to it. So, well, until, until Thursday, we'll see you. Thanks for joining us. This has been uh, Cooley Conference Basketball brought to you by Western Wisconsin Video Productions, LLC. We'll see you Thursday.